Hello again and welcome to Scott's Big Mouth Podcast, the subsidiary arm, still on YouTube, of Scott Review Things on YouTube. I'm Scott, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be the Big Mouth, and it wouldn't be Scott Review Things, would it? It would just be another channel. Anyway, anyway don't know what episode this one is. Nine, ten. They come when I think about them, and when I think I'll just do a video, I put it out as a podcast. <laughs> put it out as a podcast. Available on all good podcasts now, and some probably shit ones, if I'm honest. Maybe the really shitty ones that no one knows about. That I don't know about, <laughs> to be fair. So yeah, it's available on Apple, it's available on the other ones that I don't really know about. <laughs> These are... You've got Google Podcasts and all the others. The really good ones. I use Apple because all my stuff's Apple. I'm an Apple fanboy. I can't help it. That's how I was brought up. Liking fruit. I mean, you look at me, you think, he's a fruit eater. There you go. So you're thinking, today, we're well, not probably using the title of the podcast. You're thinking, what's today's podcast about, Scott? And I'm going to tell you. Because it's something I've been thinking about for a little while. It's something that pricked my interest a couple of days ago. And it's about beer reviews and beer reviewers and uh, predominantly, have they had their day? Has the thirst, no pun intended, for beer reviews had its day? Um, there have been some channels that have been around for years you know, and still do very well. I, I think I mentioned this on, I did a live stream on um, on Friday where I got into this a little bit about, about beer reviewers and beer reviews in general. And it's, it's, an, it's an interesting thing. And then I saw something by a channel, I don't know, name the channel the other day that said that they'd lost a lot of love for beer and maybe their content was going to change and obviously my content's changed since I first started out on this YouTube journey. I fucking hate the word journey. So for anything, oh, I've been on a journey. We haven't moved, we've sat there. Just don't get it. Don't get the word journey at all. Um, so brief history of my channel and why I set it up. Uh, people that don't know, I, was it 2019? I had an idea back in 2019. <laughs> and I'd watched, I wasn't massively into YouTube, if I was, if, my son, um, Archie, if you watch this, hello, um, four years, it'd be nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> um, Archie got me into YouTube, he'd watch things like Retin, uh, is it Retin Link? Um, the slow mo guys, all of these, all of these different people. I never, never really got into YouTube at all. And then I don't know if I'd moved in with Wanda or I was in the process of moving in with Wanda, and I was sort of spending more time around here. Um, fell upon uh, Real Al Craft Beer, Simon, and people could know I've got a very checkered and long history with with Simon, but. This is not Slate and Simon in any, any way, shape, or form. So I felt I watched beer, some beer reviews. I was um, starting out as a lager drinker myself, as probably most of us probably did. Let's be completely honest, all of it, honest here. That most of us that uh, like the odd beer or two in our youth would drink things like Carlin, Foster's. Carlsberg, all that shit. And then if you didn't drink that, you'd be on the bitters like um, Directors, Old Speckled Hen, and all that John Smith's, all that sort of shit. So we, we all started from a, a similar point of drinking absolute dredge. And some of us still enjoy a, <laughs> a pint of dredge. But um, I fell upon Simon's channel one day. He watched a load of beers, uh, beers back to back. And quite enjoyed it. And then obviously you disappear down. You think, oh, this guy does beer reviews. 
So how long ago is that? I've been with Wanda seven years. That's going to be probably, yeah, seven years. So, um, obviously Simon's been doing it for about 14 years. You've got, then you, you disappeared down a, a well of just all these different people that are out there reviewing beer or talking about beer. Um, you've got Raggy, uh, you've got uh, Jonathan Brown, Northern Southern Beer Reviews, uh, Rampant Lion, James, uh, Dean, at the time he had the beer hooligan, the rights and wrongs of Mark, but he was out there doing it. Who else you got? You got Beardy Beer Reviews, Brett, you, the, the, the Kemp Beer Reviews, Craig, um, some of these people I've met as well. Um, Paul's Beer Reviews, I think he started, he must have started after I, around that sort of time. And so you had all these beer reviews. It, 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 obviously, that brought me into an idea. Obviously, I've got, I've got the very lovely Wanda, and I had an idea of I was going to make her an internet sensation. This is genuinely true, as I see it. I was going to make her an, inter an internet sensation. I actually sent my best man, my mate Paul, a uh, text saying, I'm going to set up a YouTube channel and take the piss out of Wanda and call it Wanda Beer Wanda because she hates beer. And he's like, yeah, all right, mate. And that was in the February. And I think, in the, I think I uploaded the first video in the May. And I'll just keep the chair. So if, if you're wobbling, or if you're listening, you don't know that you're wobbling. It's the joys of a podcast. Um, Yes, I uploaded the, the phone, and it, it was slow to take off. Actually, I didn't think it was going to last. And obviously, Wanda would just take sips of beer and go, yeah, it's horrible. And that was the fun of how long that could have lasted for. I hadn't really thought about it, <laughs> to be fair. I thought YouTube was going to be a piece of piss. I'd just upload some videos, get fucking hundreds of subscribers off your pop. Naive. And, and it was slow going, and but... And I genuinely didn't think it was going to last probably three, four weeks. Didn't think I was going to get any subscri any subscribers, friends, family members, whatever you want to call it. And slowly but surely, people came. A bit like the Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. They, slowly, they came. But, you know, they came. It was, and it was nice. It was nice. You didn't get your first comment. You think it's fucking brilliant. I've got a comment. It wasn't a nice comment, probably. But it was a comment. So... And you're off and running. So my idea was Wonder Beer Wonder. Because I liked beer. I transcended away from uh, bitters. And I was uh, people that know me know how much at the time I like like the original punk IPA. I drank it by the bucket load. And then that sends you off down things like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. And uh, Lagunitas, which I, I, I still quite like. Don't mind Lagunitas. And Goose Island and beaver town at the time and all these other breweries that are all just they're all there now supermarkets were much more constrained in the the their their stock so you didn't have the huge amounts of craft beer that we now take for granted in the uk and probably all over the world the saturation of the supermarkets, which we'll get to at some point as well. I don't know. I've got I've got a couple of notes. Most of this is going to be completely off the top of my head. So yeah, so I'm 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 off on a on a journey of experimentation and voyage to find beers that I like, and it 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 was good. And obviously, I try things. That I had, we started the channel around about the time when Lost Cosmonauts and what else was around that time? Lost Cosmonauts, um, there was a Yellow Moo from Thornbridge. All, there was the first real Tesco's drop happened. Um, so that helped with a little bit of um, traction. It wasn't big. Um, Simon did his, his live streams on Facebook at the time. He wasn't on YouTube. So I would comment on them. And you meet people along the way as well. Dean, I was very lucky that my good friend Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews invited, I think we had 41 subscribers at the time, and he invited us onto a live stream. It was delayed two or three times because each of us missed, we, we'd set a date and we couldn't do it. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. Do you know what, I've watched that over the years a couple of times. Um, it was the, the start of a really nice friendship. Him and his lovely wife, Gemma, 
all the time in the world for Dean, Dean and Gemma, and obviously Wanderers uh, it has as well. Um, and during that time, my, my passion for beer grew as well. And you would go and you'd pick, I'd spent fortunes, spent fortunes on, I'd buy beer um, to review and not review it, end up drinking it. Then I bought the shed. Um, the shed became the home of the channel. And slowly but surely, you, you sort of get a little bit of traction. You get excited by new beers. The 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 drops in the individual supermarket. So the the, the main players in the supermarket drops were Tesco, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, M and S every now and then, and Waitrose. I probably miss one. Asda, but Asda of uh, up and down, and then they would. They would create, and obviously, Lidl and Audi would then do their festival drops, so and they would drop their stuff into the, the middle of the aisles. And it was at the time, uh, Simon led the way, and let's be honest, still does lead the way. There's not going to be any um beer reviewing channel and a state beer reviewing channel because you've got the craft beer channel, but they're not a review channel, they do all sorts. There's not a beer reviewing channel in the UK that will ever approach the length and subscriber base that Simon's built for himself. And for that, he's to be applauded. Um, and he led the way. So big beers would come out, he'd be on them, um, and it would drive traction for these beers. He, he would also do stuff that was sent to him. He's very lucky that people send him beer. Um, I've sent him beer over the time. I've taken beer to him when we met up in Barry Island. But he's the, the lead in light and probably one of the few that's actually still out there and commanding a pretty decent audience. Um, and then with my channel, or our channel at the time, Wanda didn't want really to be her name in it. So we, we rebadged to be a Wanda. Still beer heavy. And much to her chagrin, <laughs> it was very beer heavy and it, it, it played a part in my weight gain, but a huge part in my weight gain, still does. Um, I was about 12 and a half stone when I met Wanda, I'm not going to tell you what I am now. And there'll be some horrible comments saying that I'm like a whale, but I don't care, I take the piss out of myself. And that's the most important thing. So... And then it got to a stage where I was like, I've had enough. It's either we change the channel name or I'm done. So we changed it to Scott Wonder's World. And to her, we would do sort of food reviews because the food reviews never sat in and the days out really within um, the Beer Wonder or Wonder Beer Wonder um, realm. So we changed it to Scott Wonder's World. But my, um, my brain, very damaged brain, says no we're predominantly a, a beer channel i need to do beer and so that continued and but my enthusiasm I, I liked the getting the new stuff and i've been very honest simon is bless his heart he he called me mr p for people that don't know the, the long story there was been a lot going on with simon but i'm very pleased to say he's been put to bed uh, these days but I used to see, I used to get a great, great deal of satisfaction. And Simon knows this, because I've told him. Um, I used to get a great deal of personal satisfaction getting to new beers and getting them out before him. At the end of the day, the fact that I got them out before him didn't ultimately matter, because Simon's views would trounce mine anyway. Understandably, he's got a fucking much bigger channel. But there was some personal um, satisfaction and gratification, knowing that it probably wound him up a little bit. Um, but over the time, I would pick up the, the 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 beers and get all of the 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 ranges that came out and try and get them reviewed but it takes a toll as well you know you have to be honest i'm on almost 50 almost 49 but almost coming up from a 50 50th birthday in a year and ultimately it, it takes a toll on your body as well and they went i'm not I'm not a spring chicken anymore so and We've gone through COVID, and that was a big thing. We're going to come to COVID in a minute. And we've got the cost of living as well. So where before you could get a new beer, and it would do, you think, I'll oh, put that out, because that will do well on the channel. They don't do so well anymore. So 
and then I'll read badge again this year, and now I've got review things, so it opens me up that I could do anything. I could do things like this, where I could sit and just talk to you, and it doesn't cost me anything. I haven't been spent five pound on a beer, and I'll make 50p back. Never been worried about the money outlay for the channel. That's not something that's ever really bothered me, but obviously where you've got less money in your pocket, you're still trying to get half decent content out there. Something has to give slightly. So the the supermarket drops, obviously they've come, they haven't been as good, the quality's gone down, the price has stayed the same. So I haven't reviewed nearly as much of the, the new stuff uh, as I used to do. And I think, uh, and I've been and had a look at other channels. Um, during COVID, Let's get a fucking COVID warning up here somewhere. Um, there was a an influx of channels. Obviously, I've been going for five years. Dean's probably been going eight or nine. I think JB's around the same sort of time. Simon's been going for 14 years. Raggy's been going a while. Um, Rampant Lion James, he's been going. You had Harry Meadows. Kent's been going all this time. And these guys really now are the only people that stand in the test of time. Because channels come and channels go for a multitude of reasons. Um, I think I think there's a genuine belief that as a beer reviewer, no qualification, um, as a beer reviewer, you're going to come onto YouTube and you're going to be as big as Simon. And I can categorically say it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. So you've had channels come and go during COVID. They came a blaze of glory because everybody's bored shitless um, during COVID. Everyone's fucking getting beer machines. I could sit sat behind this camera over there. You've got the perfect draft. You've got a Krups, a sub. Um, I've got two pointers. I've got a, um, and these are the ones that post uh, the pandemic. Uh, you've got, I've got the Guinness Nitro Surge. I've got the, Audi beer machine. So beer machines, moth to flame, they always do quite well as well. And people just want, want to make content. But some, uh, so there was a man, so Bournemouth beer reviews, really nice guy, Greg. Don't know if he's still going. Um, there was the guy out in Wales, was it Big Sip? He came and went. I think Rocker's still going. I don't really, I don't watch Martin. It's just not, not my style. Um, and yet all these channels, start coming in and then some stayed some went views a hit and miss obviously barry all the beer no idea he's gone he's come back it's like it is like a drug well beer is obviously like alcohol isn't it? but youtube is a drug and it's it's quite interesting to see that when people do leave um craft beer hub mark he's gone he's gone off doing other things um if it's it, it's and is it is it is it a lack of interest in beer now is it the cost to actually put a video out because it not, doesn't cost you to put a video out but it costs if you're buying a product to put out and there's no monetary gain for it say so i've never been in for it in the money side but it does make a difference we've all got lives that cost money you know um we've got other things going on so the cost of living is a huge problem people haven't got as much money in their pockets now to go and buy the beer that they were buying probably four years ago um which then obviously obviously has a knock-on effect so if you're doing beer reviews people haven't got the money to go and spend on those beers and, it, and it's a balancing act as well you want to try decent beer but if you put a six seven eight nine pound can of beer on your channel from and i'm not picking on anybody in particular if you put a nine pound can of beer on from let's say verdant or cloud water or daya or any of the the big Tartarus. Oh, and this is say this isn't a slate against these. Um, your views are going to be a lot less than your views if you do something from the supermarket for three quid or something from Lidl for one pound fifty. That's a shower, can be a shower of shit. So less money in the pocket means less views, and ultimately, if no one's watching, what's the point? 
And I was watching Chris's beer reviews channel. Uh, he said that he'd come away from drinking craft beer, um, UK craft beer, and had gone back to drinking German style with something that he really likes. And uh, do you know what? I, 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 that's a lot that I've seen in the comments over the last probably 18 months of people that can't afford the high-end stuff. You go into a supermarket, you're paying three, four, five pound a can. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's, it's, it's for the price, it's very good. And other times it's crap. Whereas you can buy a lot cheaper foreign German, Belgium, uh, Belgian beer, and it's a fraction of the price and you know what you're going to get for it. So I think a lot of the beer reviewers that aren't doing it anymore have possibly gone down that line, the same line that Chris has gone down of um, the outlay doesn't actually, it doesn't, it isn't worth putting it on camera because no one watches. Um, I did a poll I can't remember how long ago it was, it was three or four months ago, where I said, what content do you want? Do you want food, out and about, beer, beer, and there was like fucking podcasts. I mean, you could put five things up on the, um, the this could be a rambling nonsense, isn't it? But that's what it, it is what it is. Um, and by a huge margin, beer won. So people wanted to see the beer reviews. But... If you look across the channel, beer reviews are the ones that do the least views. I say it doesn't really, it doesn't bother me, but it's an interesting thing that those are the things that people want to see, but they're probably the things that bring the least eyeballs to your channel. Um, I think a huge problem with beer reviews and beer in general uh, in the UK is the lack of innovation. Um, and I think it's becoming a real problem. I think people, I think there is a huge craft, I'm, cra I'm craft beard out um, a little bit sentiment in the country. Not everybody, because there's still a huge market for craft beer. But I think the market for bang average craft beer has gone, I think it's gone, I think it's dead. Um, I think the craft beer boom has come and gone, and I think we're on a, I don't know if we're on a downward spiral, but I think we're on a, we're not growing spiral, whether it's evened itself out. Um, I've got into Untapped. Um, I think I mentioned this, I'm gonna do a video on Untapped. Um, I made, uh, I've got into Untapped a little bit over the last two or three months. I've had Untapped for about five years. Never really used it, always used YouTube as my library of, obviously, but there's not everything, every beer I've ever had is on YouTube. So I've got into Untapped a little bit. I know my friend Barry Hodges, Barry Under the Stairs, Barry the Bastard, he loves his Untapped. Um, but I think the lack of innovation, so the, where, whereby when the supermarkets came out, uh, and that was that drove a whole industry for a little while because the, 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 from from my point of view, and there'll be people in the trade completely disagreeing, and that's at, that's absolutely your your prerogative. I'm not sitting here from an insider point of view. I'm saying it from my point of view. Of craft beer blew up in the supermarkets. People were buying pretty decent beer for for not bad prices, and then ultimately drove people to tap rooms we've got staggeringly good we've got urban island we've got uh, the brewers tap where we go the most we've got scott's tap and keller we've got the lawrence we've got the merchant house we've got the meat and barrel i'm gonna have, i'm gonna have missed um some and they, they they are still putting on a lot of these craft beers that aren't in the supermarket some are and but you've got you, you're gonna get stuff that's never gonna be in the supermarket people like phantom brewing Tartarus, I don't think Tartarus will ever be in a, in a supermarket, but then we said that about Cloudwater, um, Verdant, and all of Daya, all of these, the top of the range breweries. But the lack of innovation in the supermarkets, where it's Hazy IPA this, New England IPA that, and they were all 
became sort of generic. Simon has said for a while that he believes that supermarkets are sharing the recipe. Uh, and uh, whereas, whereas I don't necessarily agree with that, a lot of these new, a lot of these supermarket beers are very generic all beginning to taste very similar where they just change the hops and they've got the same base beer um and i think the lack of innovation is really beginning to hurt the the industry not just in the supermarkets when you're paying six seven eight pound a can in a in a in a tap room or on draft out of kegs and you don't know what you're going to get it's obviously with people's less money in their pocket it becomes a problem and i think that's I think that's rolled down to beer reviews. I'm just going to turn the light on. I think that's I think that's turned down to beer reviews and people that ultimately they that were watching beer reviews that possibly don't watch beer reviews anymore. A lot of it's overpriced. Um, obviously, costs for breweries have gone up, so they're they're. Their prices are sky high and they have to pass it on to the consumer. But they were living in an age back in 2019 through 2020 before the pandemic hit where they were probably making huge margins on these beers. They probably aren't making that anymore. Um, but yeah, the, the, the beer review inside of it is something that's that's interested me for a little while. Um, as as beer reviews had have beer reviews had their day obviously you're always going to get something and not necessarily the beer review because a lot of people don't watch somebody for the beer review they watch it because of the person that's in front of them on the camera and there's a few for me and um, the best beer reviewer on youtube is dean because in four minutes, three and a half, four minutes, he'll say more than I'll ever be able to say in 15 minutes about a beer. Concise, to the point, he's not interested about fluff and waffle, and then he's gone. And then on the other side of the coin, and this is no, no disrespect to him, because he's a lovely guy, you've got Raggy, who will very say very little about the beer, but he will waffle on about his life and the stories he tells, and each their own, I like Raggy, I like watching Raggy, I don't count, don't, um, comment very often but a very nice genuine man and it's a different style of of reviewing uh i liked it when wanda did the reviews with me because obviously wanda's a very very pretty lady and it gives a i think i think i'm right that i was the first person on youtube in the beer reviewing realm and sphere to introduce their partner being a lady from a lady's point of view and Obviously, people tried, and it didn't really work for them. Uh, it worked for me and Wanda for two or three years, actually. I, I thought Wanda comes across extremely well on camera, and I think this channel misses her enormously for it. And obviously, you've got Paul and Michelle now. They appear like nice people. Um, again, I think better characters than beer reviewers and that's okay that's not a slur on them i just think they're better characters than they are possibly beer reviewers but really nice people um but there's been a lot come and go and I'm, I'm wondering um what are your thoughts on on beer reviews beer reviewers is it something you take seriously obviously we all stick our nose in the beer i know it upsets some people quite tremendously that you've got to stick your nose in the beer i don't see the fucking problem with it i, I think it's a, an absolutely nonsensical thing to to get uppity about um uh, have i am i in it for freebies i've never been in it for freebies to be honest i haven't had that many um do i like upsetting people occasionally <laughs> i've got all sorts of trouble over the years um i've had go at beers from massive breweries i've had go at beers from local breweries i've i don't i'm not particularly bothered um, there's a, a misconception, certainly on, on my point of view, that people think you oh, you don't want to say anything bad in case it will upset a, a brewery or you won't get a sponsorship. I've never given a fuck. Never fucking cared. If I think something's shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. Can I say the same about other channels? Probably not. I, I know channels are um, very careful in what they say. Um, I'm, I know channels that 
I was very, very vocal on my live about a couple of channels the other night um, that I think of, I think they take money for no content. And I think that's wrong. Um, but beer review and beer reviewing as a whole, I think it probably has had its day. I don't think there's a, a huge demand for beer review and it's never going to get you uh, huge channel growth. Obviously, there's no doubt in alcohol isn't good for your health. You know, you can, we can all sit and lie about that, but it isn't. And have people, as people have got back to their busy lives, still enjoy a beer, um, but it's not the be all and end all. It's an alcoholic, which, which is something completely different. And maybe I'll do a video on my beer intake one day on when I was going through a divorce. I've, I've touched on this in the past. Um, touched on um, my, what I used alcohol for. I was very honest about that, and maybe maybe I'll do something about that again in the future. But there are channels that have come and gone, um, views go up and down. Um, you got, you you had channels come Simo Simo's a great channel, uh, doesn't take it seriously, and I think that's what I like. You got the beer monster reviews, Adam doesn't take it too seriously, and I think that's where I'm at now. People, I, I see people try and take it really seriously. Um, and I prefer the channels that have got a little bit of humour about them. They've got a little bit of personality about them. Um, I think it's. I, th I think I, I'm drawn to characters more than the con the actual content of what the video is about. Uh, and it's it, it's a weird one. Um, I don't know. We all have priorities in our lives. Is beer one of them? No, it isn't. I mean, I like going out for a beer on the, I now check in my stuff on untapped for, just because it makes me smile. And, um, but beer reviews and beer reviewers, say we've still got some people that have been around a while. Uh, we've lot with people have come and gone. I think people think it's easy and it is easy, but the, also the, the debt, the, the negativity that comes with beer reviewing, uh, the drama that has, and I've, I've contributed to some of that drama. I'm not responsible for all of it, but at least I'm man enough to sit here and, and not just bury on my, my head in my sand for the sake of my channel, like some fucking idiots do. Um, it, it's, it's an interesting thing, and have have beer reviews had their day? Have beer reviewers had their day? So Simon will always be there, but then Simon does probably a third of his content now is food. Um, I like his out and about videos. I think they help um uh, help his channel and he'll he'll get bigger look he's the keg of pearl and backer fest beer did almost 90 i think it was, it was probably over that now it did ninety thousand views the last time i saw it mine's done nine thousand. so there's a there is a there's a market there for for beer and the beer reviews but i think it's also i think it's a lot more niche now than it's ever been and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i think anybody now coming along to try and start a beer review channel i think you're on to a hide into nothing if you everybody everybody starts out with different um motives i, I just started out because i liked spending time with wanda i thought she had a great personality obviously we've lost her so you've got my mundane fucking ugly face um, I like to think I can carry a video where I can. I don't profess to have the best personality in the world. Um, I've, I've mellowed out enormously uh, within the YouTube sphere. I've got caught up in all sorts of drama stuff. I've, I've, I've probably initiated stuff I've certainly um, not let go of. Um, but I've also learned that there is space for everybody. I, I see stuff that annoys me. And sometimes I don't don't hide that very well, and I think I have to say something, especially when people have I've helped so many people on YouTube, and I said this the other night: the vast majority they're just in it for fucking themselves, and I've never been like that. I've never asked for anything from anybody. People will have accused me of jumping on Simon's back to try and piggyback him. Never did. Um, Jumping on Blue Van Man's back, I came at the wrong time with Dave, if anything. 
the only thing I get from Dave is a friendship that I treasure enormously. Um, we don't really speak about YouTube when we speak daily. Um, Simon, me and Simon have put our problems to bed back last no, end of November, December, and we're on very good terms these days. Um, I speak to Dean daily. Um, I watch JB. I watch Dean. Um, I see bits. The other guy that I really like is... Um, fucking his name's got fucking channel names on i've had worse really good channel david j and madam director um i watch bits and pieces of of people the people that um put content out uh, i watch bits of adam i watch bits of paul and michelle I don't watch a, a huge amount of these people but in their own right they've all, they've all got their own their own catchment they've got their own style which which is is what youtube's ultimately about but beer reviews i think for me oh, obviously you, you're going to notice there's less beer reviews from me i try and do other things because obviously my health is as important as entertaining people and telling you about products i try not oh you do mcdonald's scott it's fucking once every six weeks you know, it, does it really matter in the great scheme? Oh, they're fucking murderers. And well, I don't care. I don't care. You know, um, life can be busy. And sometimes you just want something that's a quick, easy fix. Wanda does a lot of cooking. She does a lot of salads. I eat a lot of salad for lunch. Um, so content has changed for me. I like to do out and about stuff. Going to London Craft Beer Festival uh, next month. I'm going to do a lot, hopefully do a load of bits and pieces there. So... If you like your beer content, hopefully that's going to be there. I'm going with Barry the Bastard. Wanda's coming with me. We're there on the Friday if you're around. Um, but I'm interested in what you think. Have beer reviews had that? I don't know how, how this is going to come, come across. It's not meant to be a moan. It's a general sit and just think about the state of uh, beer in general, uh, beer reviewing in general. Uh, with people have come and gone thinking it's easy and, and it's you get the negativity. I don't mind the negativity. I can hold my own with anybody, really. Um, but I've, I've, thoroughly enjoy, I've thoroughly enjoyed the channel. I still enjoy the channel. I like turning the camera on. I like talking to you guys. Well, you just talk, I'm just talking to a camera. I'm not one of these people that have the camera facing me. I don't see the need to talk to my fucking self because uh, it looks like sometimes some people get it right and some people just look like you're talking to yourself and you're like a narcissist. Um, but I like talking to you, I like the comments that come in, I like reading the comments, even the shitty ones I like, are quite like. The death threats are always quite funny. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting subject, beer reviewing, and the whole concept of beer reviewing, tasting. Uh, the, the um, I don't profess to have the world's best palate. Um, I think I could pick out a couple of flavours. I mean, people that pick out pomegranate and fucking lychee and all this shit. I'm calling bullshit on some of this, I really am. Um, but that's just me. Uh, I will pick out what I think I can pick out. Uh, and, and that's about it. I'm going to sit and lie and make up just because it might have, I might have read a review, uh, something on the internet. I don't do any research before I turn the camera on. If there's any research, it'll be where the brewery's from if I'm not aware of the brewery. Um, there's a lot of liars, there's a lot of fakers, and there's a lot of bullshitters. And that's just as in any um society really um the 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 mythical youtube community beer community i don't think there is one i don't think that there, there might have been a few years ago um with people and they're still friends now and this is, again this is no um knock on anybody hop scene harry um kent beer review they're, they're all still friends you've got i don't know if you're still going jaco beer they were the the real sort of beer community in the UK. All these other guys that came along, some went, some stayed. I see the beer community as you guys. Um, there's a lot of backstabbing, biting, and general nasty uh, nastiness that goes on behind the scenes in the beer community. And you'll, you'll have seen that. Anybody that's been part of uh, things on YouTube, um, not YouTube, sorry, Facebook, like uh, UK Craft Beer, the, which was I don't know if it is, um, don't know if it is anymore. The UK Craft Beer Forum that was the most toxic place for beer anywhere. I got involved in something called Craft Beer UK before that went fucking mad, um, and I stay out of all of the the beer forums on 
any other social media platform really apart from youtube where i do the odd beer review here and now uh, here and there these days because they're all fucking mad they all think they're right they're all there's, there's no talking to them they're all fucking bigoted nasty um they'll shut you down I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like that form of, of, of media. I think it's horrible. Um, it, it might be slightly different now. And that's not saying that YouTube's any better because it isn't because there's snide, nasty bastards in this comment. And, and people probably say, well, you're one of them, Scott, and you're each your own. But what I am, I like to think, is, is honest and direct. And if I've got a problem, I'll probably, I'll probably tell you about it. And some of these people, they don't like honesty. They don't like the drama. Um, not because they can't deal with the drama, they just don't want the fuck it. They don't want to hinder a freebie that might be coming their way at some point. Um, so for me, the the for me, beer reviews they'll still be there, but I don't think there's as much um, call for them anymore. I think there's there's a call for different aspects in beer. I really like the craft beer channel. Uh, watching what Johnny and um, I've got a name is now. Johnny does, and um, I think they're they're really good. I like watching home brewing uh, videos and things like that. There's there's some there's some good quality beer content out there that doesn't necessarily have to be reviewing based. Um, and I think that's probably I think that's probably a good thing. Um, so for me, cost of living has had a huge huge portion of blame the prices the lack of innovation hazy opium i just want a west coast a really nice west coast ipa <laughs> so, and this is one of my biggest problems i love the brewers tap in portsmouth not enough west coast ipas I, my um my untapped dings with a west coast i'm fucking down there like a shot because i want a west coast ipa i'm a bit bored of uh hazy ipa new england ipa and all that sort of bollocks i want something and there's no innovation in a west coast ipa so i've been hypocritical there i just want something that's different to the norm and there are a lot of the stuff overpriced the supermarkets haven't helped they've saturated the the market with mediocre now now they used to be pretty good we used to really like the supermarket drops but they're mediocre at best and hardly worth touching. A lot of them are absolute crap because the quality just isn't there anymore. And I don't necessarily blame the breweries. The, the supermarkets are obviously squeezing these breweries to the pennies to what they want these beers to sell at. And probably with the price of ingredients and the costs to make the beer, they just can't make it. But they, they need these beers in the supermarket. It brings eyes to the breweries. And so on and so on and so on. So state of the what should I call this? State of the beer state of the beer address or just beer as it had its day. I don't know what we're calling the video yet. I just sat down. I've just done something for Wanda. Um I've had a, a vague idea in my head, but this has just been a rambling nonsense. What do you think? Has beer had its day? Has beer reviewing had its day on YouTube? Um who do you like watching? Uh is is it something that still draws you in? Um do you more importantly if you do have some money in your pocket and you've got a brewery locally to you that you like please support them because they do need your money doesn't have to be a lot of money um, but please support them where you can otherwise you're going to lose it you're going to lose the brewery that you like where if you were going to go and spend three or four pounds in the supermarket beer and they've got something of equal value in your local tap room or brewery tap room or wherever you get your beer from locally that isn't a supermarket choose that choose that above the supermarket every day of the week because otherwise you're going to lose them leave your comments in the comments box if you're watching on youtube if it's on uh the radio waves of the podcast sphere then what do you think let me know what you think in the comments um please subscribe to scott's big mouth on whatever podcast it does quite well, actually. Um, it's not as big as the YouTube. Obviously, people have got a far bigger reach on YouTube than I have on the on the airwaves. But what do you think? Am I have I missed the mark? Have I been out of order on some of the things I've said? I don't think I've tried to be as polite as I can be. I could go all in on some that charge people um, membership fees for no content. I think that's fucking disgraceful. 
um, and the people that have ultimately let me down over the years, but I can't be bothered. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, is this something that you've been interested in? Do you want me to get a guest on to discuss these things, which I'm always happy to do? Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. I'll see you very soon.